Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. So as you wake up this morning and go outside, you may notice, I guess, a little slush on the ground. You yeah, know, kind of like a good like word glaze. to describe it. It's, it's kind of slick, too. When you turn your car, I, I hit a spot where I was like, ooh, it's mm. still kind of slick outside. Got to be mm. careful. That slush, you, you see it and you're like, oh, it's melting. It's not a big deal. Then you walk across it. It's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. lose your balance really yeah. quickly. And after the melting that we had yesterday, I think we're going to find a lot of those spots refreezing this morning because we're already seeing the warmest part of the day oh. right now. Oh. Just nice. to get colder, we're in the lower 30s. And then this afternoon, we're talking back into the mid 20s. Winter weather advisories posted for most of the valley here. We do have the uh, purple here highlighting where that winter weather advisory is in effect in our Indiana counties from noon today through 9 a.m. on Thursday and winter weather advisories from Flora over through Lawrenceville in Illinois beginning at 6 o'clock this morning central time lasting through 6 o'clock this evening. Storm Team 10 storm tracker showing us that at this point it looks like all of that precipitation falling is in the rain form because it's contained to where those temperatures are just above that freezing point. Places like Bloomfield down to Lagodi, Alfredsville and Washington down in Davies County, Vincennes to St. Francisville, seeing some of this light rain out there, but this is about it. Looking back to the west, though, that's where another batch of snow is going to start to develop. You can see it closer to the St. Louis area and is going to progress to the east over the first part of our day. Again, you can see where we have had some measurable, at least precipitation through the overnight and again, slick spots certainly going to be possible because of that. Here's this cold front. It's a boundary that all this moisture is going to ride along today as it moves from the west to the east. So while we are looking at the rain exiting right now across southern portions of the valley, we have a lot of snow developing back to our west. And I do expect that snow you see in Missouri there to track closer to the valley as we head into our afternoon. So future cast beginning at 7 o'clock this morning. Again, a brief wintry mix expected south. Then we'll get a bit of a break. The snow doesn't return until mainly after 11 a.m. You notice it lifts a little farther to the north this time as far north as the I-70 corridor. Terre Haute could even see a little bit of light snow today. Here's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I do expect some heavier pockets of snow to set up throughout our southern counties where that winter weather advisory is in effect and measurable snow certainly going to be possible in those areas as well. By 4 o'clock this afternoon though, we're going to start to wrap up the snow event through about 8 p.m. Looks like that snow does move out for the most part in our Again, the highest snowfall potential is going to stay to areas south. As we head through our Thursday, snowfall potential looks to be highest again down in Davies County, over in Martin County, in southern portions of Knox County, in the two to four inch range. This will be a drastic cutoff on where we see snow and where we don't. One to two inches just north of that for places like Greene County, back through Robinson. And then if you are any farther north than that, Terre Haute, less than an inch. Same deal in Casey, Effingham, not expecting much snow in that regard. So breaking down your forecast for today, again, a wintry mix out there early this morning. It does change into all snow into the afternoon. Light snow, the farther north you are, looks like again, the higher snowfall total stay south. Notice temperatures though. We are going to cool off as the day progresses. The warmest part of the day happening outside now. We did back to 31 at 8 a.m., 26 at noon, and already down to 24 by 4 o'clock when you would typically see our daytime high. Now we'll pick future cast back up at 8 o'clock this evening head through the overnight. You'll notice the sky really tries to clear out for us as a dome of high pressure tries to take control. It will win out during the afternoon hours on Thursday, going with a mostly sunny sky for the second half of our day, and then we keep that clear sky. We start to talk about some colder air that moves in for the rest of the week, but you can even see on Friday no new precipitation is expected. We're actually going to settle in to a more quiet and warmer weather pattern heading into the weekend. So your forecast for today again, a wintry mix south early this morning, then snow into the afternoon. 30 your forecast high turning colder, but sunny for Thursday and Friday and check out your temperatures. They just continue to trend upward near 39 Saturday, 40 Sunday and pushing 50 by next Tuesday.